setting off on my E28 Estari electric bike, which I've had, I say for Christmas, it was for Christmas actually, I was, was going to get it in the new year, but I got it slightly early because the very good people, man in particular, Dave Allen, in Leighton Buzzard of Allen's e-bikes, was very accommodating, ordered the bike, and I went to pick it up last week, and he opened the shop specially for me. That's the sort of guy he is. Well, it's a lovely morning. Uh, and if you've been missing me for the last couple of weeks, I've been busy, really. All sorts going on. Uh, my old uh, roundabout calendar uh, sold very well after I was on the television. Good grief. Um, sales going up and down the country. Scotland, London, Cornwall, Blackpool... Uh, so I sold all the ones I ordered and printed and uh, yeah, made about over a thousand pounds for the air ambulance, which was good. And uh, I must thank the uh, people at the air ambulance charity, the shop and so on, for helping out there. Right, so I'm going uphill. I'm on uh, power setting number two. It's quite easy. I'm knocking onto three, and oh, suddenly you feel it—an extra kick in the power. And you just drift along, moving up to ten miles an hour, going uphill, which is fine. I've got four bars on the battery. I was out a little bit the other day, so I'm not going to go far. I just want to show you what I can do, or what this bike can do, and uh, I think you'll be impressed for a number of reasons. I am. I'm, I'm impressed. Right, I'm just going into Higham Village. Higham on the hill. And yes, I've been climbing a hill. I'm on power number three. Still got four bars on the battery, of course. I say of course, but that's what is, is the case. I have to say, I've just drifted up the hill. Uh, when you kick the power in, particularly five power on the battery, and the electric input, power assist. You feel like you still have got a pair of legs like Chris Hoy. It's terrific. Anyway, I'm going to go through Heim Village. Here we are. And uh, down the other side with some really quiet roads. And tell you a bit more about this bike. Ah, right, really quiet road here. I mean, look, no one here. Right, I've switched to the uh, iPhone now. Gives me a bit more flexibility from what we can see. And it's a beautiful day. The, uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it's above freezing anyway, probably about th two or three or four degrees Celsius. And I'll go along to one of these really quiet roads and tell you a bit more about this wonderful bike. <laughs> Well, here it is, the E28 Estali electric bike. Uh, where should we start? Well, first of all, does that look like an electric bike? Because you'd expect a big uh, battery slapped to the uh, frame somewhere. And there isn't, because the battery is in here. This frame part, this tube, has got the battery in it. And uh, this is the point at the bottom here where you would plug in to recharge it. And secondly, you think, well, I'm looking for the motor. So you go to the 
there's obviously not one in the front there's nothing there and when you view it from here the actual largest uh, cog at the back is slightly bigger than the motor because there's the motor in the hub of the back wheel right I've done a few additions these are my pedals let me I, these are in no particular order but these pedals are absolutely gorgeous I've had them on a, three of my bikes now and I always take the old the new ones off and put these on because they're much better I've also got of course the famous Brook saddle which is the shape of my anatomy uh, I put a bell on which uh, is important I love a bell think about a bell it's very um, it's not aggressive you know exactly what it is there's a bike coming that's it it's not saying oh, out of the way it's saying excuse me here I am nice day let me come by I've also put these um, bars on the end which are fitted on really well uh, the make as you can see is on pack which is a slightly better make than one or two others it cost about 20 pounds I think they were very nice so I've had to trim the grips back a bit but they're still fine that's absolutely fine um, the brakes are Tetro which are cable um, disc brakes they're fine they're okay I had uh, pneumatic ones on my other one and uh, they were great I, I never had any trouble with the the pneumatic system but these are fine they're, they're okay not a problem and also the gears are very good um, the gears are Shimano Altus and a good range of eight gears on the back which is perfectly adequate only one chainmail on the front of course uh, what next oh I put this mirror on which works extremely well actually because when you're on the bike you can see behind <laughs> really rather well um, and I put a bottle holder on as well the one thing I must say there are no um, screw holes for the bolts usually there's certainly a couple on the down tube for a, a water carrier but there aren't any on here at all I've managed with some uh, black what do you call them fasteners clips but they've done okay otherwise yeah look at that oh and I put my little mini pump on the back here I've got um, this uh, pannier rack on here as well as uh, extra mud guards are extra and the suspension on the front here is very useful and the lights are integral to Let's see if I can make them come on you hold this top button and the lights will come on there you go whoa ah <laughs> I can tell you what that is <laughs> this is a curious uh, function it will help you push the bike so if you hold the up button on the power for three seconds um, it will enable you to push the bike so the bike jumps forwards if you hold it down for too long these are the, the power settings on here so you've got up and down and the main one which is on and there are a few variations of what to do for instance it's now on so if I press this and hold it it will turn it off which saves a minute amount of battery but otherwise wow the uh, the design is excellent it's made by Astari here we are look which happened to be a firm in Berkhamshead in Bedfordshire oh, I think it's Bedfordshire anyway and uh, the bike shop is only one of three I think that sell it 
this bike in this country. But um, it's aimed as is the um, the foldable bike, which is a very clever one with only 20 inch wheels, which is called E20. And it's, I think it's made for the commuting market, really. And I, I said to uh, Dave Allen, who owns the shop and provided this one, I said, you're a little bit uh, London centric and quite rightly so, too. And I think they're going to sell a lot of these because they're really, really good bikes. Either this one or the uh, folding one. And the um, this light is built into the bike as well and comes on when you put the front light on and all runs off the main battery so all in all absolutely brilliant bike in fact when I got on this uh, in Leighton Buzzard and in the front of the shop I put on power level number two sat on it and set off just down the street and back I think everybody can hear me go wow as that power cut in and the bike was just comfortable too so I'm really pleased with it um, oh, the one thing uh, I will say as well, there's only one frame size, which is apparently suitable for uh, five foot six to six foot two. Um, so I'm in the middle of it, I'm six foot. That works extremely well. You can see I've got the saddle fairly high. And um, there's also <laughs> an, a top weight for the rider of uh, 110 kilos. Uh, which meant I had to sort of try and lose a little bit of weight over the Christmas period. Well, that wasn't going to happen, was it? But what I needed to do was get out on my bike, do a bit of exercise. But I didn't have a bike for Catch-22. E28, a Starley electric bike. From uh, but what a lovely morning, New Year's Day, and uh, taking the, um, the bike out to show you what it can do. Uh, one thing in particular, just now, I was down on the lower road there and I thought, oh, I'll go up to Stoke Golding and Dadlington. But there's one or two tough hills there. Not a problem. Just put it into uh, power level number five. Got selected a decent uh, gear. I just shot up without any problem. So suddenly, the idea of hills being a problem to your trip out no no it's insignificant now the other thing is the wind it's quite windy this morning and uh, even if you're on the flat um, to go into a headwind it's quite hard going and um, that would use quite a lot of battery up so i'm going to be careful um, because all the way i'm going along with the bike um, i'm just keeping an eye on the battery level to make sure i don't deplete it too much too soon i wouldn't like to run out before i got home Although if I did, it wouldn't be a huge problem. I could still make it anyway. nearly home coming back in the wind um, yeah that flag shows the uh, strength of the wind and this is where the uh, electric power assist is so good yeah I mean just going into the wind is no problem at all anyway finally got the weather on my side finally got out having uh, so many other things to, to do over this um, holiday period and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you again next time. Well, you'll see me. You know how it goes. Okay, bye-bye.